Hey guys, it's Joe here from Salute by Joe, and I love Christmas time. I love decorating for Christmas time, and a lot of people get like really nervous about it, and it's just so simple. So I'm going to show you a quick outdoor um, decoration that basically costs nothing. I went to the dollar store to get what I needed, but the base of it is my trusty sled from when I was little. I think stuff like this, stuff that you own, stuff that you have a personal history with makes for the best decorations because it's just so, God, I hate to use the term, but it's just so heartwarming. It's heartfelt. It's something that you know. <clears throat> so like I said, everything else I went to the dollar store for, and it's just the simplest thing. So I'm going to start here with uh, 15 foot of faux garland which was a dollar. And all I'm going to do is start at the base here. And I usually take the first part and just wind it around until it's secure. And then I am just going to Maybe I shouldn't have rolled the whole damn thing. Oh well. I'm just going to keep winding it around. And you can make it as tight or as loose as you want to. Probably shouldn't have unraveled the whole thing, but oh well. I'm just going to cut it where it's the right length. Wrap it around a couple times that it's secure. Next, I bought two uh, rolls of fabric ribbon. You could use uh, the wrapping ribbon or whatever you like. And I have a sleeve full of balls. A sleeve full of balls. Huh. We're going to grab one of those. Now I pre-cut the ribbon the length that I wanted. And I'm going to thread it through the balls. And when you do that, if you cut one piece on an angle like that, Threading it through the balls becomes a little bit easier because the hole is tiny. Cut just a little bit more off so I can get a little bit more narrow. This becomes the time when I wish I had a Santa Claus helper. Hmm. So why is it that the ones that I did off camera were so much simpler than this? Here we go. And then 
I just pull it through and I just wrap it around my finger and knot it. Don't even worry about tying a ribbon. So I did that with a couple others. Which is why I'm glad they're plastic because they don't break. So we have them at three different levels. And I also got a snowflake. So I am just going to loop them like that. And at the dollar store, they had these fantastic picks that look like the garland. You know what? I'm not doing the snowflake because I don't like the way that looks. I think I want to keep it a little bit simpler. So there, we have the three balls. So I'm just going to take it, tighten that up. There's a natural hole here in the center of the sleigh where the steerer comes. Oops. So I've just wrapped it around there. I'm going to quick take another piece of garland. There's a hole here in the stirrer or in the steerer. Stirrer is what I do with the pot. Wrap it around this cross piece. bought these big silver balls. I'm going to take another one of these uh, pipe cleaner things or whatever you want to call them that has the evergreen on it. And then just tuck it there. I got another one for the other side. So again, take the silver ball, and just wrap it really secure so it's not going to come loose. other garland is wrapped so I can wrap it into that garland. And there is an outdoor decoration I made myself. It costs under $10 and it might have taken 10 minutes. This is something you can do 
to personalize your house. As my camera tilts. You don't need to go somewhere special and buy it. I use a sleigh from my childhood. You can use a sleigh from your childhood. You can go to an outgrown store. I go now before the store hit or before the snow hits. But guys, this is something you can do. Stay stylish. Look for these DIY projects that you can do yourself. And I'll talk to you soon.